Google Cloud Next 2017 featured a rich variety of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch the location-powered on-demand economy, then stay tuned, because here's the recap. Powered by smartphones and the ability to determine location, the on-demand economy reflects a significant shift in user behaviors and expectations. As a result, we've seen significant disruptions in many traditional businesses. For example, we used to hail a taxi on the street, now we can request a car from an app on our phones. Or consider that eating restaurant food at home was limited to takeout or pizza delivery. Today we can get anything from fresh ingredients to meals from just about any restaurant delivered within the hour. It's important to note that these new business models are driven by location power technology. Customers request cars or place an order on their apps that indicate their current location. Meanwhile, the fleet of drivers and delivery people fulfilling those requests are constantly using location-powered apps to figure out how to get to their customers. For example, traditional taxi and delivery drivers had to memorize routes and locations to efficiently navigate their cities without digital assistance. But with real-time navigation and routing technology, this need for specialized knowledge is removed, enabling businesses to significantly increase their fleet of drivers with less training costs. Uh, now, you can include those same features within your own apps using the Google Maps APIs, which are available on Android, iOS, web, and HTTP-based services. Uh, these APIs give you the power to do everything from visualizing points on a map to routing and planning for deliveries to pre-programming television remotes based on their physical location. In order to understand how to take best advantage of these features, let's focus on user habits and expectations. Constant technology advancements have led to the user expectations of continuous improvements in speed and convenience. We expect our web pages to load faster, our movies to be higher resolution, our deliveries to arrive within minutes, and our phones to not only tell us how to reach a destination, but also to navigate around accidents or bad traffic. In terms of services, that translates into expectations for continually improving simplicity and predictability. Sadly, one caveat with this economic trend is that while user expectations for simple and convenient services is on the rise, willingness to pay for them is on the decline. For example, cheap fixed priced physical deliveries soon became unlimited free delivery, and low prices for digital goods quickly evolved into unlimited plans for music, video, and mobile data. With service expectations increasing and consumer willingness to pay decreasing, the challenge for companies is to find ways to deliver efficiencies of scale that will enable the margins they need to thrive. The issue with location-based systems is no longer the logistics in managing a fleet, deploying it, or even getting to the last mile. Instead, the challenge has shifted to the last tenth of a mile. Uh, for example, it's not enough to just go to an address. You now have to find a specific person standing on the corner of that address. The result is that the new location-based economy isn't really about location. It's about places. The concept of a place is important to consumers on the move. Uh, people want to know that before they head out to a restaurant, uh, is it going to be busy? Is it open right now, or is it even worth going to? While the previous location-based data changes slowly, uh, months at a time, this new location economy is filled with information that's dynamic, affected by the time of day, traffic, uh, local events, and even changes in a business location. Keeping up with all of these changes yourself, globally, is really hard, which is where Google can help. The Google Maps team is committed to finding creative solutions to help developers like you find efficiencies in the last tenth of a mile. The result is that our mapping APIs return up to the minute data that reflects the dynamic nature of the location powered economy. Check out the full recording of this session to see more examples of location, the on demand economy, and what the future holds. And of course, if you want more recaps on great next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist. And don't forget, the next world tour coming soon to a city near you.